Genesis 39, Joseph in Egypt. The Ishmaelites took Joseph to e Egypt, and they said to him, There as a, a slave, Potiphar bought Joseph from the Is Ishmaelites. He was one of Pharaoh's officers. He had the authority over all the guards. The Lord was with Joseph so that good things happened to him. Joseph lived in the house of Potiphar, his Egyptian master. Potiphar saw that the Lord was with Joseph. He saw that the Lord helped Joseph to do good work always. So Joseph pleased Potiphar. Potiphar gave Joseph authority as his special servant. <clears throat> Joseph took care of everything that belonged to Potiphar. From the time Potiphar gave Joseph authority over everything in his house, the Lord blessed the people of Potiphar's house, his animals, and his crops. The Lord did that because of Joseph. So Potiphar told Joseph to take care of everything that belonged to him. Potiphar did not wor worry about anything in his house. The only thing that he thought about was food that he would that he ate. Joseph was a strong and handsome man. After some time had passed, Potiphar's wife saw that Joseph was handsome. She said, "Come to bed with me." But Joseph refused to do that. He said, my master does not need to think about anything in the house. I take care of everything that belongs to him. No one has more authority in this house than I do. My master keeps nothing from me except you. This is because you are his wife. I could not do such a bad thing. I could not do a sin that is against God. Potiphar's wife continued to speak to Joseph every day, but he would not agree to go to bed with her. He would not even go near her. One, je one day Joseph went into the house to do his work. None of the other servants was there in the house. Potiphar's wife suddenly took hold of Joseph's coat. She said, come to bed with me. Joseph left the coat in her hand he ran out of the house Potiphar's wife saw that Joseph left the coat in her hand she saw that he ran out of the house so she called her servants to come she said to them look here the Hebrew man that Potiphar brought to work here does not respect us. He came in here and tried to have sex with me. 
but I screamed loudly. When he heard me scream like that, he ran out of the house. But he left his coat with me. Verse 16. Potiphar's wife kept the coat beside her until Joseph's master, Potiphar, came home. Then she told him this story. The Hebrew slave that he brought to us tried to insult me. He would not, he wanted to sleep with me, but I screamed loudly for help so he left his coat with me and ran out of the house verse 19 Joseph's master heard the story that his wife told him she said this is what your slave did to me when Potiphar heard that he was very angry. He took hold of Joseph and he put him in prison. It was the place where the king put his own prisoners. While Joseph was there in prison, the Lord was still with him. He was kind of to Joseph. He caused the leader of the prison guards to light Joseph. So the man gave Joseph authority over all the other prisoners. Joseph was responsible for everything they did in the prison. The prison guards did not have to worry about anything that Joseph had authority over. He saw that the Lord was with Joseph. Whatever Joseph did, the Lord helped him do it well. Thank you very much for listening to this chapter. God bless. And always remember to smile. You will never know how that will help someone. Have a good day.